Hi, my name is Suha Osoilu. I'm the Director of Operations at Hosokawa Micron Powder Systems. And today, I'd like to introduce to you a special version of our Universal Micropulverizer UMP Model B. The UMPB, the Universal Micropulverizer, is the extension of our uh, micropulverizer line that's been around since the 1920s. The idea was to improve upon our existing hammer and screen mill technology to bring forth a more flexible, uh, more hygienic, more pharmaceutical unit to the market. The UMP model range comes in multiple sizes. Uh, the one we're seeing back here on both sides of me is the UMPB our Bantam model with a one to two horsepower motor. We also make a smaller unit, about a two inch diameter rotor, and um, units that are, are UMP1, UMP2, and UMP3 lines going up to production sizes. As I mentioned, we wanted to add more flexibility to our universal micropulverizer line. So with our micropulverizer line only have being a hammer and screen mill, we wanted to add a variety of rotor options to it. Here I can show you the different rotors available, starting with the um, standard stirrup hammer rotor, which is used as a hammer and screen mill for medium to fine grinds. a rigid knife rotor for coarse grinds and deagglomeration. Our pin rotor setup for fine grinds and where you want to eliminate uh, potentially plugging of screens due to wa waxy oily material. And newly developed uh, our AFS rotor for attrition style milling for fibrous or polymeric materials. Um, our general manager, Mr. Rob Voorhees, had done a video that's already available on YouTube going into the details of our universal micropulverizer Bantam model, which you can watch at your convenience. Here, what I would like to point out are some of the specials that we've kind of included in a new unit that we built on, the, on my left. And I will then point out the differences when comparing it to the unit on my standard that's on my right. Um, we'll start with the feeding setup. You can see that this unit has a twin screw volumetric feeder on it going through a closed, closed connection, closed coupled to the mill itself. Um, this was to be able to control the feed rate much more accurately than what's available on the standard unit which comes with an open trough vibratory feeder and an open feed. Again, moving down on the mill we have obviously a uh, pharmaceutical grade application with a 0.8 micron RA finish with electro polish. Um, we've added a liquid nitrogen port on the front to be able to remove the heat of grind for this customer's application. And also in, in conjunction with that, added a thermocouple on the discharge, measuring the outlet product temperature so that we can then adjust the uh, liquid nitrogen flow into the mill. On Coming out of the mill, what we have is a conical hopper with a butterfly valve going down into a 30 liter container. The purpose of this setup is that during operation, we can shut off the butterfly valve that's here and be able to remove the container and attach a new container, open up the valve and continue the process without actually shutting the feed down and stopping the milling process. With this customer requesting an extended runs with this unit, what we did is we added a fairly large size um, filter housing, a relief filter housing. And again, compare this, as you can see this house housing here, which houses a fabric filter element, to the one on the side. And if we can see it here, this unit here, you can see the difference in size, which is gonna give you a lot capability of running the unit a lot longer. Now again, I wanted to point out some of the minor differences we have on the controls as well. This unit being pharmaceutical, it was constructed in all stainless steel from the structural base to the guards, in, including the control panel, which is a NEMA 4X design, compared to our standard unit, which is NEMA 4 design. You can see the gray steel box. Um, we have obviously included a Z-Purge on this unit for it to be uh, operational in a Class 2 Division 2 area. Um, 
And also we have a VFD controlling the main motor speed as well as the uh, feeder speed. So we have amperage, mill speed display, um, feeder speed display, and also since this is capable of handling multiple different types of rotors that can run at different top speeds, we have a selector switch here that will allow you to pick the rotor type so that the unit automatically locks into a top speed and not to exceed the designated speed of a given rotor. I hope we were able to show you the level of customization we can do here at Hosokawa Micron Powder Systems. From what you see on the right here, the Universal Micropulverizer Model B um, standard design up to our advanced version for a specific pharmaceutical customer based on their requirements.